Hey YouTube, Legend BT Wave Bounces Volume 1 here, and <laughs> it's time for a review of the new Calvin Harris record. It is called Funk Wave Bounces Volume 1. Stayed up till midnight last night, probably even longer than that, but at midnight last night, we'll say. Um, just got the pre-order for this baby. It is my most anticipated album of the summer, and the first album ever that I've ever pre-ordered on iTunes. And... Not to say I didn't want to pre-order other I, our other albums that I've been excited for, but this has just been the first album that I've ever went out to pre-order. So that's that. And also, I just went out and drove one hour, apparently. Well, I had an appointment, but I just stopped by and picked up this on CD. So yeah, that's pretty lit, yeah. Um, but anyways, my history with Calvin Harris, I've, um, I've been a fan of him for about five years now, and... I've loved his music, it's always been so, sort of a, uh, well, his music hasn't been as well received as I think it should be. Honestly, I'm a lot bigger fan of his than a lot of other critics probably are. And honestly, This Is What You Came For was one of my favorite hit songs of 2016, regardless of the repetition and the, you know, the you and the Taylor Swift drama and everything like that. Also, My Way, his follow-up, while not as big in the US as in the UK, it was still a solid hit in my opinion. So this new album came out and the singles from it were piling up and were actually turning some people around on Calvin Harris. Like from, it's it's a new style on this new record and a lot of people are seeing some changes in Calvin's production, but a lot of people are thinking it's a good change. Like um, Spectrum Pulse honestly thought it was good. A good change as his Billboard Breakdown reviews are showing that he actually kind of like, um, he actually kind of liked the singles leading up to this thing. But uh, more than that, uh, how did I feel on the singles? Well, I already reviewed Slide, and thank you so much um, for everybody who watched my Slide video. It is my first video ever to hit 20,000 views. That is just so awesome, you guys. Thank you so much. And it accounts for about 60% of the views on this channel. So thank you so much, guys. My other videos are good too, though. So I mean, eh. all right, anyways. Um, so yeah, the slide song was an excellent pop song, honestly I thought, with some hip hop vibes and some funk in the production, and it had this awesome clapping beat, and really just a fantastic vocal appearance from Frank Ocean, and a great freaking appearance from Migos. Honestly, I love that track, it is great. And honestly, I'm like, it should have been bigger, it should have been a bigger hit than it actually was, so that's kind of sad, but I mean, hey, I'll accept it as a hit otherwise, because it's awesome. Heat Stroke came out, and then I thought that one wasn't as good, but I still think it is a great one, though. I've grown out of it a lot and since my review, and I've ended up really liking this track. And then Roland came out, and I'm like, oh my god, yes, this one is fantastic. I love Khalid's voice, and just the beat where it's like, and stuff. <laughs> love that part. And just the whole... Um, bouncy vibe of the production and the majority of this album is just awesome and then we get feels the fourth single from this thing featuring pharrell williams katy perry and big sean which honestly katy perry is the weak point of the song just put that out there right now uh her, her appearance is just, just like honestly i don't like katy perry um i don't like witness and i really don't like her um vocals in this song they just kind of feel lazy and just thrown together just to get a big hit to me but that doesn't stop me from loving the song though because the production is boom and Big Sean's a nice does a nice job and Pharrell Williams really seems like he gets into it so honestly I like the track. The production's nice, has a little reggae feel with the guitar melody and yeah overall it's a solid track and while not as good of a hit as Slide I am greatly looking forward to actually hearing this one on the radio which is not something I can say about a lot of radio music especially today. Moving on, and then we get a lot of other stuff in this record. Oh my gosh, guys. Well, you're in for it this time. Okay. What did I think of Funk Wave Bounces Volume 1? Well, first of all, let me talk a little bit about um, his past album, Motion. See, the the last time Calvin released an album, I, I uh, patiently awaited the pre-order. And I didn't pre-order, but I did await for the album release. And honestly, you guys... Uh, while I liked Motion, I was a little bit disappointed because it wasn't nearly as good as his third record, 18 Months, was. 18 Months is one of my favorite EDM albums ever, despite how mainstream it sounds. 
Uh, honestly, I just love the production on the record. It is awesome. Love the vocalists on the record. Like example in Tiny Tempo, although he's not really vocus, vocalist, but this is a really awesome album and it was a really great dance album and there's a reason why it's on the classic essentials page on itunes uh, aside from that uh, motion though was not nearly as memorable um, a lot of the drops sounded the same kind of watered down uh, but while i do like the album um like definitely the second half of the record just really kind of fell flat for me um if i were to rate the album i would give it a seven so um yeah, like that. that's kind of low for Calvin Harris for me because I really like Calvin Harris and honestly the record was probably his worst yet. But did this record turn out to be any better? Uh, yes, definitely. Honestly, you guys, this album's awesome. I love it a lot. Um, I love Slide. Cash Out featuring Schoolboy and Party Next Door has a great freaking melody in it. And um, other songs I want to get into like Prayers Up featuring Travis Scott and A-Track. Like there's a lot of great collaborations on here and they actually like, um, like I didn't expect the, the collaborators to be this good. I mean, Nicki Minaj delivers a surprisingly solid performance for once on Skirt On Me. Uh, dang, wow. Kalani delivers a fantastic performance on uh, Faking It and just a lot of these performances are just stellar. Like, I love the, the performances on here. They really, like, you know, they really go with the funk vibe. You, you need some, like, funky kind of good vocalists on this record for it to work. And honestly, it does. I really like a lot on this record. Um, heck, I even enjoyed the Big Sh Not Big Sean. My God, sorry. Uh, the Snoop Dogg uh, feature on Holiday. Like, yeah, I went with the funk vibe very well, and Snoop did a good job. I liked it. Uh, there's some nice grit in the production, and it's kind of just really just, yeah. Now, a lot of people were complaining in the iTunes review that this isn't really much of a dance record, and I'm kind of split both ways. On the one hand, it still has the, the elements of Calvin's production. I can still feel this is Calvin's work. Like, um, it's got his personality still in it, and also... There are still dance beats. They're just kind of slowed and funked and chilled down. But it doesn't mean they're any less quality than his old work. I mean, I, I wish Calvin fans would give this more of a chance because some people were just like, ugh, it's it's hip-hop rap uh, pass. And I'm like, well, I just kind of think it's nice that he actually tried something different with this record because Motion, obviously, his formula was getting very stale. And honestly, I'm glad that he tried something different with this record. Now, I feel like I'm coming down too hard on Motion. I do like Motion. Lots of good songs in that album, like Faith, Under Control, Blame was good. Uh, Love Now, although I don't like the chorus, has a good drop. Uh, Outside was good. Um, it Was You, although like I don't really care for the drop that much. It has good buildup. Um, what else? I liked Ecstasy. Yeah, basically, I do like a handful of songs in that album, just not really the whole thing. There were some songs that let me down, like the weak drop in open wide and the weak drop in burning and also like just just some of the songs had weak drops to me uh i don't know if it was just me but mm, yeah but that is not the case for this record though because a lot of the production is just incredibly solid and strong and what i really like is a lot of the bass work on this record if the bass hadn't been as heavy and thick and rich as it is in this record this would definitely have fell flat it would become, become bland chain smoker crap that I despise and sadly it's eat up, it's ate up Zed and like so many other producers that have just made Chainsmoker garbage this year but this I can happily say is not Chainsmoker garbage this album is awesome because there's actually bass and grit and quality to this production I don't even get how a record like this can be so mainstream but god I mean like um well of course because it has like it has like like almost every big name in rap Surprisingly, besides Kendrick Lamar, I mean, wow, I can't believe he got all these other rappers on here, but he didn't get Kendrick Lamar. Like, you know how much buzz you would have gotten if you got Kendrick Lamar, dude? For real, but I can't complain, though. This is an awesome record, guys. I'm really loving it. I'm giving it a, a light 9 out of 10, and my favorites are Slide, Cash Out, uh, Rollin', Prayers Up, uh, Skirt On Me, Feels, uh, Faking It. And yeah, those are my favorites. Least favorites gotta go to Hard To Love. Honestly, didn't end the album with that much of a bang, but I do love the record nonetheless. And 
It is a great summer record. Highly recommend, guys. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoy my content, please subscribe. Anything I can do to praise patron, um, please leave a comment below. Thank you all for enjoying this review of Funk Wave Bounces Volume 1. Uh, links are below to listen to the album. Thank you all for watching. Please subscribe.